Hi, hello, welcome to Sana's Tasty Kitchen. In our kitchen today, we are going to try Madurai style crab curry. There are many videos in which they will tell you how to do the crab masala. But today in our video, we are going to show you how to clean the crab first and then continue with the cooking part of it. Now I will show you how to clean the crab. First, wash the crab in warm running water to remove all the sand traces. Wash it in the front as well as in the back. So once this is done, what you do is, you will find two large leg pieces in the front. We have to first remove it. Just hold it and twist it. Yes, you have got it here. The same way, hold it and twist it. Yes. And then you have to remove the ends of the small leg pieces. So what is the identification mark to remove is you will find these small tissues at the end of the uh, small leg bones. So leg pieces. So just hold it in between and twist it and just remove it. It will look like this. This will have a sharp edge and few small tissues in between. Just remove the end of all the small bones on both the sides. See? This is how it will be. These ends will have no flesh as well as it will be very sharp. Yeah, we are done. So once you are done with the leg part, just wash it nicely, wash it in between so that there will not be any sand traces or any sort of dirt. So what's the third step? The third step is you will find an arrow mark like this. Just peel it off. Yeah. So once this is done, just remove it, remove this portion. Mm, just twist it. Yeah. So here it is. Now wash this arrow mark well and then insert the thumb to remove the shell. Yeah. So once this is done, you will remove the shell. Just throw this part away and clean all the waste wastages inside. You can remove all the yellow and uh, brown color wastage which you will see inside. And all these small tissues which you can see on both the sides. See these tissues are, are of no use. Just remove it off. This is the mouth portion. Which is not going to be of any use for us. So we will remove even this. Just twist it. It will come off. So once after removing all the uh, wastages. And all the sand transits and everything. Just wash the crab once again. In the running warm water. And yeah, now we have a clean crab with us. So what we will do next is just take the meat knife, keep it in the center and cut it. Now the crab is clean. Now we have thoroughly cleaned the crab and uh, divided the crab into two parts. And these are the leg pieces. Now everything is ready for the recipe. Come, let's start the cooking. Going forward, now let's check the ingredients which are required for making our delicious Madurai style crab curry. For this recipe, I have taken 2 kg of crab. I have also taken 1 lemon sized tamarind and we have soaked it in warm water with 1 tablespoon salt. 10 garlic cloves, handful of curry leaves. 2 tablespoons of fennel seeds, 2 tablespoons of cumin seeds, 2 tablespoons of pepper, half a tablespoon of turmeric, salt to taste, 2 tablespoons of chili powder and 4 tablespoons of coriander. As a first step, now we are going to grind the masala for Madurai style crab curry. Let's add all the ingredients. We are taking 2 tablespoons of pepper. 
टेन गार्लिक क्लोव टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ फेनल सीड्स एंड टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ क्यूमन सीड्स After adding all the ingredients, we are going to add some water. and grind it to a paste for making the madurai style crab curry now we have grinded the masala for the crab curry and the texture has to be like this now i have taken a large pan and added 4 tablespoon of oil when the oil is heat add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and some curry leaves just stir it till the color starts to change now the color has changed and we are getting the wonderful aroma of the cumin and the fennel seeds now what next we are going to add the cleaned crab which we have taken Now come let's add the crab Yeah Now we have added all the crab which we have cleaned and kept aside for some time Just mix it once well with the oil After adding the crab, we are going to add the tamarind water, which we have already soaked with salt. Just add it. And stir it well. The tangy flavor of the tamarind has to get well into the crab. it will be really tasty now after adding the tamarind water we are going to add the masala which we have already grinded and kept aside Stir, stir it well. After adding the grinded masala to the curry, we are also going to add the other spices. That is, half a tablespoon of turmeric powder, two tablespoon of chili powder. Four tablespoon of coriander powder. Now we have added all the spices. Now stir. Now stir it well, so that the masala gets coated on each and every crab piece here. Add additional water so that all the crab pieces will get soaked in the water, which will help in cooking. Now we have added enough water, and all the crab pieces have got soaked into the water very nicely. Now leave the crab to cook for another ten to fifteen minutes, and keep stirring the masala in between for e between every three minutes, so that the masala mixes well and it gets into the crab nicely. Now after fifteen minutes, the water has drained really well, and the masala has coated on the entire crab. So now what we are going to do is we are just going to taste the masala once. to check for the salt mm we have to add some more salt to it uh, actually we haven't added salt in between when we added chili powder and other masalas because we had already added salt in the beginning along with the tamarind uh, soaked water 
so now let's add salt to taste yeah now i'm just going to stir it well for the salt to get mixed with the masala mm, the aroma is really good this is a delicious dish and i'm sure you're going to love this dish if you make it at home with your family yeah so okay now let the crab cook for another 5 minutes so that the water will get drained completely and you will have a thick consistent masala stuck on the crab so let's wait for another 5 more minutes now our spicy delicious and mouth watering madurai style crab curry is ready so let's taste it and before that don't forget to garnish this recipe with some curry leaves this curry leaves will add the aroma to the recipe and mm, yeah so let's enjoy this recipe by making this at home if you like this recipe please don't forget to post your valuable comments on sana's tasty kitchen please do like share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching